Welcome back to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're taking my weekly look at deals coming in under $10 or your local currency. And this week, it's a big week, I've got 20 games for you all and I'm covering eShops in the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. So with that luck, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here, join our growing family. We're so close to 30,000 subscribers at this point, it's crazy, so thank you all so much and let's get started. So we're starting things with a fold apart, a puzzle game about a long distance romance and the challenges it presents. The paper fold art style is stunning though, just really enjoyed this world. I reviewed it here on the channel so I will link that full video down below along with any other reviews from today's video. But this, it's a new all time low price and well worth the 60% off. Down in Bermuda then started life on Apple Arcade before finding a home on the Switch, just another great puzzle adventure. Here you've been trapped in the Bermuda for a long time though after a plane crash and now you decide it's time to get out. You'll be powering up these portals and attempting to work your way home. It's just a great handheld game though as well because it takes advantage of the touchscreen controls. A few items I will say they can be a little bit awkward at times to spot on the smaller screen but otherwise it's good stuff for this new low of 80% off. Jump King now then and if you feel like driving yourself crazy and potentially breaking your switch this is going to be the game for you. I attempted to review this one on the channel but gave up long before I was anywhere near to the end. The concept though is simple, jump your way to the top of this world and save the princess. If you fall though and more often than not you will you'll be losing a ton of progress if you don't fall all the way back to the bottom that is. It has an additional mode as well if you want to kind of you know torture yourself twice and it's matching its low with 50% off. On the weird and wonderful of the eShop then Blackbird is also back matching the low price with 50% off and this one it's a shmup but it's about as strange as they get. It has an outline of a story almost but basically a young girl dies, gets reborn as a blackbird and now you're out to destroy the kingdom. It's short being a shmup of course but it's built for high score chasing with the visuals and the music are stunning and it's also just incredibly dark in its humour. Also multiple endings to uncover if you want something to keep you coming back. Just will say here there was a quick one, it is difficult as a warning. Calming things down a bit then, The Last Campfire, lovely little game this one from the team behind No Man's Sky but instead of expansive they went for something just a little bit more somber in both its scale and storytelling. A puzzle adventure though, you are a lost ember searching for a way home. The visuals, they are stunning and it's just creative enough that you're excited to see what is coming up next. The only issue I had with this one, they went with a favourable frame rate for some reason and it can stumble occasionally as it pushes for 60 FPS. A new low though of 60% off. So Oli Oli Switch Stance is a game I love and we have a sequel coming up later in the year that is Oli Oli World. So now may be a good time to jump in. It's a side scrolling skateboarder. It's just so good though and it bundles the first and second entry together. It's one life gameplay here as you try to survive like these side scrolling levels all while facing different challenges and of course besting high scores. The second it then built on the concept it added all manner of new environmental pieces but also control elements as well. So you know of course new tricks. 80% off though matching the low and it is an absolute steal. If you want something a little less involved, you know, less Twitch gameplay, check out Neocab here. We have an adventure experience, heavy influence from the visual novel genre, but you'll be playing as Lena, one of the last human drivers for hire out there as the world, it's basically been overcome by automation. The issue, your friend's gone missing, so you're trying to get to the bottom of, well, basically what has happened. Think here though, conversations, maps, choosing that next passenger you will pick up, earning money, and even then managing that mental health. Fantastic game and it's matching the low here with 80% off. Back to the weird then and this may be the pinnacle for Tomb Batula. I picked this up in a previous sale after a review on a friend's channel that's Star Wars Shovelware. Luke from Star Wars Shovelware is now half of Xbox Corner as well so I'll link the channel and his video down below. But this game it did not disappoint. It is just more than a little surreal. A self-described atmospheric exploration game with the occasional puzzle. It's all about a magical birch that dictates the future and you need to feed it. And I'll basically leave the description there. 10 endings though to uncover PS1 era kind of 3D and it's rocking 60% off. Horror fans then a quick DLC shout out but if you play Dead by Daylight know that the Stranger Things DLC is being retired. The map will leave in November as will the playable characters. To celebrate the end of this run I guess you could call it they've discounted the character back and if you do own it you of course won't lose them so jump on this one sooner rather than later for two survivors and a killer at 60% off. There is nothing you can do about the map though that will definitely be retired. 
While I'm talking of weird and horror then, Death Comes True is for you FMV fans. I'm a big fan of the genre. This is by far the strangest one I've played in a long time and for sure on the Switch. Here you do get a little bit of more like rotational movement with that camera. You'll be working through both dialogue and on screen actions then. But it's like part killer, part mystery adventure as you try to uncover the truth. Genre fans though, 30% off. I think it's a decent little discount. As is traditional with the genre though, as always, it's a short runtime, but it does pack multiple endings. All right, so Evergate is an interesting one. It's a match in the US and Canada, but in the UK, EU, and Australia, this 33% off, it marks a new low price. That discount, it might not sound huge either, but just know the game actually saw a permanent price drop, cutting it in half. The game though, it's a puzzle platformer with almost Twitch controls like your Super Meat Boys of the world. But you'll have some abilities here, like the ability to slow down time. You'll be collecting up these orbs and all sorts from these worlds. This game though, it honestly just deserves more love. For the politically minded out there then, Not Tonight Take Back Control Edition is a game that first off has its similarities to Papers, Please, which is just never a bad thing, but it's a politically charged experience that's not shy about its opinion surrounding a Brexit. Here you'll be an individual that's designated into the role of Bouncer, and you'll have a combo of think RPG almost decision management gameplay. Man the doors though, choose who comes in, pay the bills. It sounds easy, but it gets tough and it's a unique one matching the low of 90% off. Splasher then is a gem I haven't spoken about in some time. Now I played this originally on the Vita. It's still a standout title to this day. It's a pretty challenging like platformer with a decent chunk of action as well, but you're out to save the splashers from the factory's evil boss. The idea that you're armed with this paint gun and that paint adds abilities like bouncing or sticking to areas. Again, not easy, but I think the colorful visuals make it feel a little bit easier to, you know, try, try and try again. It also has a few modes packed in as well, and then it's matching the low price of 75% off. Next up then is Warsaw and I really enjoyed this one. It's a turn-based RPG but in the Thane of Darkest Dungeon with a World War setting. It's got this incredible cartoon-like visual style and the idea of fighting as the uprising. It's kind of an easy idea to, you know, get behind. It's one of those games though where you'll be recruiting team members and permadeath here is very real. I enjoyed it though and it's a nice piece to kind of sit alongside Darkest Dungeon and it's matching the low price with 50% off. My pick up of the week then, Monstrum, it's a game I've played briefly and I meant to add it to the library a while back but I missed that sale. Now it's rocking a huge new low of 77% off so I'm going to be taking the risk. Now I'm curious more than anything to see performance over anything else on this one. Stranded on a cargo ship though it's a first person horror roguelike with you on the run from some sort of like alien enemy. It's not going to be for everyone, it's a try try and you know try again experience but the concept is cool and I do actually believe there's a sequel in the works currently. Also just know again I have not played this one that is my personal pickup of the week so if you want to join me for the raid please do but just know I can't give it a recommendation. Alright so Forgotten Anne always gets a lot of comments and it's back matching the low here with 60% off. It's a Studio Ghibli inspired adventure. It was the visuals that initially attracted me to it but the story is fantastic as well. You'll take on the role of Anne. She lives in a world where all the things that are forgotten in the human world, they come to life here. Now you're on a mission to stop a rebellion and return to the human world with your master. It's simple but it was just a fun ride. It's kind of leaning more into the cinematic than anything else but it even has a free demo if you want to check it out before you buy it. John Wick Hex then is an interesting one. I really enjoyed it and I didn't face any issues with it myself. That said, reports are out there of a whole lot of hard crashes. So just be aware going in, you might need to be a little bit forgiving here. You don't lose much in the way of progress from what I understand, but I just wanted to put that out there first. A great use though, honestly, of the license. You know, you're putting the title character into what is a hex-based strategy experience and my full review it is down below. This is a new low price then with 50% off. Resolution then is one we rarely see on sale, but it's back with a new low of 65% off. It's an interesting one. It's incredibly strange, honestly, as it weaves this sci-fi tale of escorting an AI through this world, but it has this, like a dark sense of humor to it all as well. It's part adventure though, part action. It's heavily influenced by Hyperlight Drifter, if that wasn't obvious already. It's also challenging though, very little hand-holding, and it really will put that exploration and progression on you. I got lost more than a few times here, and it can get, I will say, just a tiny bit frustrating when the game's giving you literally nothing. 
Our penultimate game of the video, then a Little Nightmares Complete Edition. I think it's safe to say most are aware of this one by now, but this huge 80% off, that is a steal. Hopefully it reaches the US and Canada as well shortly. Fantastic port though, overall it's a psychological horror adventure, there's few games like it. And you'll be helping Six and the kid exploring the mouse and sort of vessel you're trying to escape. It's the locals though that are terrifying with some truly creepy designs, asking for some kind of like stealth gameplay and then also quite a lot of puzzle solving. Our final game of the week then, that is Blaze Blue Central Fiction. It's rocking 80% off a new low price, and that is an incredible price. There's two Blaze Blue games on the Switch. This is the better of the two if you want the depth. You know the genre is famous for cross tag battle. It's kind of like a simplified spin on the name. Featuring an incredible cast though, the controls and the balancing, it's near perfect. And yeah, it's definitely my go-to fighter. There is a story mode in here as well, but it's basically a visual novel and it would be extremely difficult to understand without, you know, knowledge of previous entries. So if you do want to jump into that, you're going to need to do quite a bit of research first. And that's another week down and it felt like a great week with a little bit of everything and a fair few new low prices. Will you be adding anything to the library this week though? Or are you holding onto that cash? It's easy to see a lot of like big games coming next week including Baldo and No More Heroes 3 so I can well very easily see why that might be the priority. With that though luck hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.